Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and in this Vue.js 3 video tutorial, we will learn that how we can send data to API with POST method. So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will make a input form. After that, we will get the data from these input forms to data properties, and uh, then we will test our API because before integrating any API, we must have to check. This is working fine or not? If there is some issue with API, then we should not integrate it, right? Because there is already some issue with the API, then it will not work. And if this is working fine, then we will uh, integrate it and we will send the data to API. And at the last, we will test that data is saving with the API. Everything is working fine or not, right? So let's start with to making a form. So let me add here two input fields actually we don't need to make here actual form which is like this right because like this because when we are working with the uh, single page application or like view react js and all then we don't need to submit and it all right so we can just add some input fields here and get the data from these input fields so just use here input type and uh, it can be like uh, text name can be like uh, email and we can close it right and uh, we can make one more field let's say one is email second one is password and whenever we are checking it you can see that there is a no space and line space between them so what i am going to add here so i am using here br tag to add here line break and two more add break uh, br tags for space with the button now let's add here button also like this and just add here text, some text like add new user or something now let's see how it's look like mm -mm. I must have to close this button also right now this is working fine great so now let's uh, make a function which is uh, called whenever we will click on that button right so for that what we need to do here just define here methods property and uh, here we can just simply add any uh, method like add user or something and here we can just make a console dot log or console dot one just put here function called or something and on button click let's call it uh, so here we can use here v that means view on colon click and here just add your function name which is add user my bad add user like this and now let's see is it working fine or not whenever i am clicking on it function is called perfectly fine so now let's get the data from these input fields so for that i need to define some properties so just return here and add two properties like email um email can be like uh, mm, blank by default right password again it will be blank by default and now just simply add here v model and here simply put this name field name like input and with the second one we can simply add here like uh, password and we can add here comma also we can format it everything is working fine here we can see that right so now let's see uh, how uh, is uh, uh, data is uh, perfectly saved in these fields and or not right so for that what i can do here i can just simply check here this dot email comma this dot password so let's say test id is bruce at the rate right, or password is one two three now you can see that form is working fine we get these value inside our data properties button is also working fine with the function everything is great now let's test our api so 
what is our api url this is my api url and actually i am using here json server for uh, making these apis so what is json server if you don't know then don't worry link is given in the description box for video i already created a video on it so now let's select the post method this is my api url and in the body we have to send two data two uh, fields right so these are the email right and uh, some data like uh, peter at the rate test.com after that let's send the password and here we can send like uh, one two three at the rate peter or something fine so for moment you can see that we have only one data here so whenever i will just save it now you can see that this is returning 201 created that means a new record is inserted here and here you can see that that means api is working fine so third result we will add with our code right so now what we need to uh, call this api we need axios package in last video i already told you that how you can install this axios package just go to the uh, npm dot or npm js dot uh, com uh, site <clears throat> sorry for that guys and uh, you can just install it directly right so now i already installed it so i'm not going to install it again so now just import it here import axios from axios axios perfect so now here let's add this uh, axios dot post method right because if uh, we are getting the result then we can use here uh, get because this is defining the post so let's simply use here post and in the first parameter we have to pass our api url which is that and in the second parameter we can send our parameters right so what are our parameters and what parameters we need to send here email and password so just come back here and simply put here email it will be this dot email that means uh, that one and the second parameter will be password and here again this dot password this dot password belongs to data properties right and now as you know api is obviously async so what we can uh, make it we can make them async and use here let result equal to await this api result and uh, now just make console dot warn to that result so that we can check this is working fine or not right i hope everything should be fine now let's uh, come back here and add some data like uh, peter and i'm adding some again peter one uh, one two three at the rate peter some password and all right whenever i will click on it now you can see that status again status is again 201 text is created that means everything is working fine whenever i'm refreshing it you will find that third result is added so we can add one more result so for that let's see that how we can make it uh, like completely password so how we can just put here dot and all to just need to change this type property password and now if I just put here anil test.com then uh, password 123 at the rate anil and I am putting here add now you can see that again this is saved and here is our fourth result so we don't need to add here IDs because they are auto incremented so thanks for watching this video if you still have any query any confusion you can ask me in the comment box